Today, we are unboxing, assembling, and testing out the Fox Alien 440 Masuder CNC machine. Let's do it. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be getting into the Fox Alien 4040 Masuter CNC cutting machine with the upgraded 300 watt spindle to make this baby purr. All right, so I've got everything laid out here. We'll uh, take a look at it real quick and see what was all in the box. with the X motor on, with the Y2 motor. Then we've got the Y, I believe, yep, Y1. Power cord, instruction manuals. This is a, I believe a scrap piece to do a test cut on. The other rails, yep, uh, to get everything attached for the base. The uh, control board. We've got the spindle. This is the 60 watt spindle. It's got a little cleaning brush. Off, We've got a package of all the nuts and bolts we need. Comes with a 10 pack of eighth inch bits. The other brackets, home button, and the emergency stop button on it. The clamps get, you get one, four clamps. The necessary tools. This is for zeroing out your bit, the pro all the wiring, and we have the spoil board. So there we have it. That was all the pieces that came in the package. So next, I'm gonna get a timer set up so we can really see how long it takes me to get this thing put together. So what we've got here, I've got the frame, the board, and the spindle installed. So my plan right now, I'm going to go ahead and install the 60 watt spindle that came with the machine. I just want to get everything wired up. Once that's done, then I'm going to go to the upgrade, which is right here. You guys will see here soon. Um, then I'll get that swapped out because there's a whole nother control board that comes with the upgraded spindle. So I just want to get this installed first. Now what's left is I have get the drag chain installed and then the control board and get everything wired up. So that's what we've got next. It has been about an hour and seven minutes, hour and eight minutes. I am almost complete. I just have the wiring left. We got the control board in. We've got the um, wire track all installed. So I'm gonna finish up the wiring. Once everything is 100%, then I'm gonna go ahead and take off the 60 watt spindle and toss on the 300 watt spindle and hopefully get this thing fired up.
so it is the next day now. I was up until about 1.30 in the morning, figuring out a bunch of tweaks, got the software going, um, had some issues with the Y access bar not being square to the bed. Um, so I got that figured out now, why that was happening. Other than that, I think I've got the settings figured out for the bits that I have. That's my other issue is I do need to order some more bits. I only have eighth inch bits. Some of the stuff that I want to test out or that I want to do, I'm gonna need to get some 16th inch, 16th inch bits. Um, but other than that, what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and do a test cut with the 60 watt spindle see how long that takes then i'm going to take all that apart and i'm going to throw on the 300 watt spindle finally and we'll do the exact same test cut and see how long that takes all right here we have it this is the control module for the new spindle. So it will control the spindle speed, turning it on and off. Here is the new spindle, the 300 watt. And then the power cord for it. So here is our comparison. So here is the 60 watt and the 300 watt. So I am hoping to get a lot better results out of this guy. I'm actually really happy that I went with uh, the upgraded version instead of just sticking with the 60 watt. So let's get it installed. All right, so I've got everything in. I got the 300 watt spindle installed, power connected. I've got this unit connected. And let's see if it fires up. All right, so unfortunately, I dropped the ball on finishing this video out. I started making this a few months ago when I first got the machine. I was able to, as you saw from the video, I was able to successfully get the test cut um, with the 300 watt spindle. However, after that, I didn't record anything else. So fast forward a couple months later, I've already done a few things with the machine. I've gotten some more bits. I've been able to test out more uh, variations of cuts. I've kind of seen the limitations of this machine so far. Um, so stay tuned because I do have a few more videos as far as what I have done to improve this machine to get some better results out of it. So I do have a video coming up with the cart that I made for this machine as well. So it has its own little spot over in the corner. Um, but yeah, so overall though, I think it's a, a really good starter machine. It lacks in, in a few areas, which we can kind of get into in a later video. Um, but definitely worth the buy. I think for starting out, just wanting to do some basic stuff, it really is a great machine. So again, 
Thank you guys for stopping by. That's it for this video, and stay tuned for more to come.